So you might be in this situation where you're wanting to go ahead and transfer photos from your particular iPhone to some sort of flash drive. Now, doing this is actually a very, very basic and it really doesn't take too much time at all. Number one, you're going to want to connect your flash drive over into your iPhone. Make sure it is a flash drive that supports your iPhone. So that's kind of the number one thing to keep in mind here. So go ahead and plug it in. And then what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and basically make your way over into your photos application. So open up photos. Actually, even before you do that, you want to make your way over into your files application. So find the files app, open it up, and you want to make sure your flash drive is seen and logged into inside of your work, inside of your files application. So as long as it's discoverable in here, then you should be good to go. So sometimes it can take a little bit of time, but wait till your particular drive opens up here, and then you're going to be basically good to go. So in this case, I'll go and hop out of fly files again. I'll go and open it back up. Go and click on browse, and it should allow me to go and see it. It can take a little bit of time. You can see I see my flash drive here now. So now what I can do is I can go through and I can go inside of my photos application. And I can start selecting the photos that I want to send. So find the photos that you want to send, right? You can be any photos. And then you can click on the share button. So click on the share button at the bottom. And then you can scroll down. And then you want to find this little option that says save to files. So click on save to files. And then what you want to do is you want to click on the back button here and you want to go to your drive. So you can see that I have my drive right here. I can click here and you should be able to go through as long as your drive is properly accessible for your iPhone and everything like that. You can click on the save button right up there and that will go ahead and save those photos into your drive. And from there, you can go back into your photos application and you can go and delete those photos that way. So that's basically how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.